Sovereign Saurus here, lots of sovereigns today. So today we're going to take a look at the different colours of the gold sovereigns over the years. So you've probably seen the modern sovereigns quite a lot recently and we have obviously the 2022 design here which is a special one for the Jubilee year. Now the main thing we're going to talk about like I say is the colour and a lot of people have asked you know what years the colours have changed and things like that so the Sovereign has always been 22 karat gold in the past 200 years. It's always been that, okay? So the Sovereigns here we have are a range of different monarchs and therefore different years. You see all the shields in the back there. And this little one ounce gold coin on, sorry, quarter ounce gold coin on the left here is pure fine four nines gold. So this means it's just gold and the sovereigns being 22 carat, whether it be the old shield years or the modern 2022, they're 22 carat. So the gold content is the same. It's 7.32 grams or 0.2354 ounces, Troy. So if you are buying the sovereign from this year or last year or, you know, 19... 81 or 1821 you know you're buying the same amount of gold so that's the main thing to uh, you know consider different sovereigns have different premiums um, these are all bullion but you know the shields do fetch a bit more of a premium they're becoming a bit more hard to get hold of and young victorias in general are also you know getting a bit more rare you don't, you don't see them around as much Whereas Ed's and George's, you know, there's quite a few of those about. And the modern years, you know, the Gillicks, people are getting a bit excited about those, but there are plenty around. So, like I said, we're going to take a look at the colour. You can see here we have a young Victoria. And haven't got any older Victorias here with me, but um, we have these four today. And then we've got a Gillick. And then we have uh, year 2000. 2002 and let's grab that 2022 and a 2021 so here you can see I've tried to get them out of the capsule just so you can see better but we look over here first of all the older ones they are quite yellow in terms of the gold so you would say that is you know a gold color I would say these three are all the same sort of color so You've got the young Victorias and then early 1900s we had Edward for a short while and then we had George until the early 1930s and then there was no more bullion sovereigns made for quite a while after that until we started with the Gillicks in 1957. Uh, this is a 58 but they were started in 57 so there is a colour difference between the Gillicks and the George I would say but in terms of the Gillicks, you know, they carried on for a little while. We also had some more Elizabeth portraits. And uh, then we had just proof versions for a little while. Now, back at 2000, we brought back the Bullion Sovereign. And you can clearly see now the definite colour change. So this is 2000. This is, you know, in the 50s. And these are obviously the early ones. You can see there's a clear colour change there in the year 2000. When I look at the 2000 compared to the 2002, I do still see, you know, a bit of a colour difference. The 2002 does look slightly better. Um, and then when I look at the 2022, which is the modern year, again, you can really see the difference. Uh, the design, it's hard to see, but there, even if I hold it like that, you can see how the 2002 is much more yellow than the 2022. So 2022 is obviously the fancy design. If we just grab a 2021, it's the same colour, but it's just the normal, you know, George and Dragon design. So you can see between the 58 and the 2021, it's obviously much darker. Now, I know there's some reflection on the light, but this thing is like a coppery red colour compared to the nice gold colour. So hopefully that gives you a better idea if you're looking to pick up sovereigns and you're not really sure what they all look like in person. Those are the different colours. Now, I'm going to have a quick look at something else, which I will show you in just a moment. And 
can compare that. So we also have some other sovereigns, like the Australia sovereign. Guess why it's called that? But that was from the Sydney Mint with the young head. This is, oh, there was type one and type two, and I can't remember which one I've got, uh, but bear with me. There is another video on this when I picked it up, so if you are interested, you can find that. But yeah, if you just look down now on the table, you can see coppery looking thing, nice gold ones, coppery looking things, nice gold ones. And just to compare, here is fine gold, four nines fine, with, let's go with a, an Ed. Eds and Georges and Victorias, like I say, I think are the same. So see, even though it's 22 carat, it does look a very similar color. You know, it does look yellowy gold, how gold should in my opinion. But anyway, the Royal Mint are doing whatever they're doing. And unfortunately, yeah, these more modern ones, they don't look anything like the nice yellowy gold color. So this video, the main thing is to compare all the different colors for you. And so if you are wondering what years to buy, if you do like the yellow gold and you've got a choice, you wanna really be going pre 1930. So you wanna be going like George's, Ed's and Victoria's, but in some places you might end up paying, you know, a little tiny bit more premium. Um, these 2022s, whilst they're in production, are being, you know, quite good premiums. They've often been cheaper than the best value ones. Uh, on the second hand market, I've seen the Gillix and other Victoria, other Elizabeth years, sorry. I've seen people asking a bit of a premium for these. Um, partly because a lot of dealers have sold out or, you know, been holding stock. But if I was going to choose any year, the Gillix are a good option because you can still get very good condition because they were never circulated. Um, and they're not super high premiums, or at least they weren't recently. I keep just picking those up by chance in best value, but um, I've had you know quite a good run of best value coins recently. I also got some other Victorias uh, when I got an order from Bullion by Post, and at the same time though, I've had some 2021s and uh, even you know the current years. So if I was buying at the moment and I was just worried about stacking, you know, wanted the lowest premium, I would just pick up literally whatever is the lowest premium. If I had the choice though, if the price was the same, I would definitely pick up the special years. Even if they cost a tiny bit more, I would definitely pick up any of the special years. If you can get a shield or a young head, you know, anywhere close to the best value price, then definitely go with that. You are gonna pay more for things like the Lion um, and the quarter ounce in general, like the Britannias, but they have more gold in them. So you will be paying more for these definitely, but they do have more gold, so you need to work out the premium that you're paying. And usually we'll find that the sovereigns have a lower premium than the quarter ounce coins. So that's why I tend to pick up the sovereigns over other coins. But in some countries, you are effectively penalized for buying, you know, non-pure gold. So if you're buying uh, 22 carat, you might have sales tax. Whereas if you're buying four nines fine, you might not. So depending on your country, you know, that might be... An issue or something to consider at least and generally the older sovereigns are going to have more of a premium than the new ones but you want to just make sure that the sovereigns you're buying aren't too worn so when you're looking at like a victoria you can see here there's a lot of detail in the hair you know you can see the headbands you can see the hairlines if you can't see those you know it might still be a nice coin but you know, it just looks a bit worn if you can't see those. So if you can't see a lot of detail, you might be better buying something a bit newer. So in order of uh, my choices, assuming price was the same, I would pick up anything that's a special design first. I would then pick up, you know, any of the more modern special designs. I would then pick up anything older in this more yellowy color. And then I would just pick up, you know, the generic like 2021s, 2019s, etc. Um, you know, I'd pick up those as my last choice, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And if you are buying in the best value, you kind of get what you're given. So I don't think you're ever going to see shields in the best value, you know, unless they were incredibly warm, perhaps. Um, I did get lucky and pick up a 2002 that was at best value. And um, that was a half sovereign. Actually, this is a, this is a full, it's not this coin, but I have had, you know, modern years, current years, and then when I've picked these up, uh, 2005, for example, they've been a very low premium. So 
that would be my options and that would be my choices if you are outside like i say you might consider quarter ounce coins instead and for me at the minute i think it makes sense to pick these up as they are only a small premium more than britannia's and they could possibly do well in the future if you do want something more fancy you know you could look at the older sovereigns things like this australia sovereign you know you're going to be paying uh, quite a sizable premium especially for anything in you know very good condition um don't think you would see this at a bullion price anywhere but if you do snap it up so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think which colors do you prefer which designs do you prefer what are your thoughts are you picking up sovereigns talk in the comments